Well, COVID really doesn't help men. What it does is it raises the FSH and LH level so that in women, that's very good for early embryo development. Uh, that's why we like to use it with our mini IVF procedures. Uh, but raising that FSH and LH level, even modestly in men, isn't going to increase their sperm production rate. Their sperm production rate is absolutely a fixed constant. It has, there is no hormonal way to hyperstimulate a man's ovary. And it's because with a woman, when you're hyperstimulating, you're not creating more eggs. You're just allowing less eggs to undergo atresia uh, from the recruitment process. But you're not stimulating, you're not getting more eggs that way. Um, so you can see how Clomid would help a woman have more, more follicles to retrieve, but it's certainly not creating more eggs. But in a man, he's got spermatogenic stem cells. And you're not increasing the rate of spermatic stem cell, stem cell proliferation or progenitor stem cell proliferation. You're just not increasing that with any with any hormones. It's it's a fixed rate, and so they need the FSH and they need the LH, but it's permissive only, and it's not pharmacologic. And you can't increase that production by increasing the FSH and LH. So no, Clomid doesn't help men. Mm -hmm.